Hey guys, it's Robin Arizona Crafts and welcome to my studio. Happy New Year! It's January 1st. For those of you that were expecting a calming and relaxing January 1st video, I'd mentioned that I would just put up a video showing all the new yarny things that I cast on for knitting and crochet. And that's what I was planning, like I had a nice relaxing one for Christmas Day, I'd have something simple for New Year's Day. But then I noticed on the calendar that New Year's Day is on a Friday, and on Saturday is our live stream. So you're getting this video now, and you will get the yarny goodness on Whip It Wednesday. So in this video, you'll hear about what we're making, as you can already see, and I'll give you different links down below in the description box to give you a head start on your materials list and where you can print out the pattern and stuff like that. But hang out to the end also, please, because I have a little bit of an update I'd like to go ahead and give you guys. In the second last, however you look at it, the second live stream of the month, I usually say, hey guys, what do you want to make next month? And one of the ones that things that people wanted to make was the heart-shaped pot holders so that when we come into February for Valentine's Day, then you can have some type of a heart-shaped decoration. I come across them several times online. You see them on Instagram, you see them on Pinterest, especially when you are coming up to a Valentine's holiday, they tend to show them more and more. As you can see, I did not use Valentine's type fabric, so these work for any time of the year. They just have to be heart-shaped. They are pot holders. This one is a little bit of a smaller one that goes like this. I have computers on one side and the other. This one, I had this cute fabric that I picked up at Walmart before. It's baby fabric. I've got elephants. I've got the yellow and gray jungle people inside. And then I have this fun design on the back. Now this one is for larger hands. This one is a little bit large for me, but I found this one on the embroidery library website so that you can add an embroidery design here if you want. And maybe you just wanna hang this up for decoration and you're not gonna actually use it. This is another project that is going to require some cotton, some cotton fabric, some cotton thread, because it's a pot holder. You really don't want to avoid the polyester, the polyester batting and the polyester thread, because when you're putting it into the oven, you really don't want anything to be melting, especially since you have your hand in it. So if you make a small or medium size and it fits your hand nice and tight, you really don't want anything melting, especially like the batting and then you know it's sticking to your hand and burning you. These aren't supposed to burn you. You're supposed to make them helpful so you don't get burnt. So we're gonna avoid the polyester items. You can use Insulbrite, which is made for pot holders. It's that batting that's really crinkly and metally sounding. That's why we don't use it in the microwave because it has some type of reflective metal stuff in it. Kind of like those lunch coolers that has that, that crinkly metal looking lining, like almost like a weird aluminum alien foil thing on the inside of a cooler. That is a place where you can get that insole bright batting because it's also a cooling thing like that. But you can easily pick it up on Amazon or Joann's and possibly maybe even like a Walmart or a craft store or something. I know you can get them at quilt shops, Joann's, and online. I don't have insole bright. I have used it in the past. I really don't like sewing through that metal. I don't like that sound it makes. I don't like all that crinkly and stuff like that. So I tend to just use extra layers of cotton batting. This one, I went a little overboard with it, which it makes it really, it's really nice and thick and everything like that. I just think it would work good if it was a larger heart and that would help it out. This one, I just use a few layers. I have a layer on the back, a layer on the lining, and then a layer on here. Because even though this part of my hand isn't touching the food, I tend to hit the oven or the rack above it or something like that when I'm pulling it out, or I'll hit the glass door. So I really easily bend, burn the back of my hands and my wrists and stuff. So I wanted a little extra, just a little protection through here. I have just one layer on here also, but I have four layers of batting here. So now if you don't have Insole Bright or if you're like me and you don't want to use it, I only use two layers of cotton batting in this one because I like how cute it is and I wanted it more for the look or to put something on. You can fold it over and put a small pot on it. You can leave it like this. It's thin. This one is thin enough you can use it for a mug rug or anything like that that you'd like. But I like to also use denim, whether it's from an old pair of jeans or just some denim yardage I have. I will put a layer of denim in to substitute for the layer of Insulbrite. You can also use 100% wool. You can use 100% flannel. My daughter 
she works in restaurants and she needs like sturdy pants because they're always bending and reaching and spilling things on themselves. So they need to wear certain types of pants. And she generally likes to wear the Dickies because they're a good strong work pants and they last a lot longer than just like purchasing a pair of dress pants or something. And I like to take those when she's finally bleached them or stained them and ripped them or whatever, she passes it down to me. And I like to cut the legs and I will also use that in there because that is a good strong cotton fiber in there. I really don't know exactly what it's made out of. I think it's just several different layers that it's woven together. So I will put that on the inside and that usually makes a good heat thing. But I really like to just use the old denim from jeans and stuff. You can actually use it for your back layer or your inside layer here, or you can just put it in between the batting. I will use cotton batting as they usually tell you to. I will quilt this and I will have this, but then I'll put the denim in between those two layers so that it basically goes cotton fabric, cotton batting, denim, cotton batting, cotton fabric. So I said I'm gonna put several links down below. There are variations on this. You can do it with your binding here. I put my little tag here, because if you think about it, we'll discuss this tomorrow, but if you're gonna put your hand in the oven like this, you really don't want this tag to be like getting into the food or getting stuck on the oven and things like that or getting close to the burner and catching on fire. So it's nice to have it in a different spot, even though it does change your heart shape to an upside down heart. I keep all of my pot holders on a shelf in the kitchen or in a drawer. So something like this, I don't hang it up anyways. I don't want to hang pot holders as decorations because my pot holders get used and they tend to have burn marks on it and they get chili or pasta stains. Because whenever I'm grabbing something or a bowl out of the microwave or something like that, the pot holder always ends up in the food somehow or another. So mine get tucked away and hidden so nobody can see them. So there are variations, as I said, you can put binding around, you can put binding, I didn't use any binding on this one. Some of them are larger, some of them are smaller. I did find a, a free tutorial that has them in a, they call it a small and a large size. I haven't printed it out to see exactly what sizes they are, but I found them for this size. And I found them from this size and I found them for a few sizes in between. So as I mentioned, they will all be down below, linked down in the description box. We'll be going live tomorrow, Saturday, January 2nd at noon Eastern Standard Time. That's like New York City and I'm down in Florida, so the whole Eastern coast of the United States. You can easily find out where that relates to your time just by Googling it. I do like to pop in five or 10 minutes early before noon, 11.50, 11.55, just to get everything all set up and get chatting so that I'm already here as you guys are starting to come in. So if you ever catch it on a replay, you might wanna just fast forward. I try, I've been trying to let you know in the beginning, okay, I'll be chatting for 10 minutes before we get started. So that way you can fast forward or you can just hang out for the chitter chatter. You never know what we might be talking about. It's usually craft related what someone's having for dinner or how your New Year's or Christmas was. It all totally random stuff, but you can easily fast forward into the actual tutorial. I will be showing you whether it's on this size heart mat or, or pot holder or a little bit smaller, but we'll be doing this version. But as I'm going, I will explain how to do your binding strips and maybe what size to cut them because it's generally about the same for every heart, depending on the size, your length just changes. So I'll show you how to get that information. I'll talk to you about it. And when we get to a certain point, I'll also tell you how you can do your binding around the outside if that's something you prefer. I think it's just quick and simple to do it this way and not have to worry about any of the binding, but it all depends on what look you want. So please join us tomorrow at noon Eastern Standard Time while we make heart-shaped pot holders for Valentine's Day. The other update I have is I will no longer be doing these Friday material lists before the live stream videos. YouTube has this thing that if you have less views on certain videos than other videos, they don't always support your channel or push it out to as many people. So it does become a loss of income for me. Not everyone needs to watch these videos or wants to watch them. They're looking more for the tutorials or they're just going to hang out with us on Saturday and watch the live stream and not worry about the materials list. They're just going to hang out with us and chat. Maybe they're going to sew on their quilt while I'm chatting away so I can keep them company. So so the views on these Friday's materialist videos is dropped dramatically. 
compared to my other videos and that's really starting to hurt my channel it doesn't take very long for youtube to notice when you switch things up and things aren't going as well even though this isn't a bad video it's just not a popular video so from a suggestion from a friend, I wasn't sure exactly how I was going to do it, but she suggested that I just add it to my Whip It Wednesday video. So that gives you extra days to gather your materials and get prepared and check out the patterns. Maybe watch a few other videos so you feel more comfortable when we sit down together to sew. So at the end of the Whip It Wednesdays prior to a live stream, I know that's a complicated, but I do the live streams on the first and the third Saturday of every month. So the Wednesday prior to that, if you hang out through all the way at the end, and I will let you know in the beginning, hang out to the end because I have the material list for our live stream. I will add it at the end of my Whip It Wednesday video. Yes, it's gonna make that video a little bit longer. And yes, not everyone's gonna stay till the end, but those videos do very well on their own. So I think it'll be safe to add it to there. Otherwise, it'll just be creating something like in the community tabs up here on YouTube, and not everyone seems to have access to those or sees them when they come up. So thank you for understanding all these little bit of changes as we go. It is the new year. It is nice to kind of shake things up a little bit and see what worked last year and what might need a little adjusting for this year and just make those changes. So I hope to see you guys tomorrow at noon where we're gonna make our little heart-shaped pot holders. You could also use some fun ladybug type fabric. That's almost the shape of a ladybug because they're basically a heart with a little bit different colors on the inside. I think that would be really fun. So I'll see you guys tomorrow, a little bit before noon. Bye.